Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. In this tutorial you will learn how to edit and create custom brushes. Editing and creating brushes in Twisted Brush Pro Studio is an advanced capability of the software and designed for advanced users. A brush in Twisted Brush Pro Studio is a combination of core brush style or variant, size, density, opacity, color and brush effects. Brush effects are extremely powerful and play the biggest role in determining how a brush will look. Through the brush control panel, brush adjustments panel and the color bar you can easily achieve different variations of any brush. All brush effects that are applied to a brush appear in the brush effects panel. When you change the brush control parameters, the values in the brush effects panel also change. Remember that when you edit brushes, you are always editing the brush that is in the brush shortcuts. Brushes in the art set are not directly edited. After editing a brush if you want to save it you can place it into an art set. Or to save your preset from here. The saved brush will be available for selecting in the respective Pro Presets art set. If you want to revert back to the original brush, you just need to select it from the art set again. Another easy way to add effects to a brush and thus, to adjust its behavior, that doesn't require any knowledge of brush editing is through the brush modifiers. Click on the brush effects modifier icon and select effects. Each selected effect is automatically added to the brush effects panel. At the end, we have a completely different brush. Now, let's create a new brush from scratch. We will start by clearing all brush shortcuts. Click on the brush effects modifier icon and select the new basic brush option. Here we have a simple brush stroke with no added effects. A brush stroke in Twisted Brush Pro Studio is defined as the time from when the pen, or mouse click, is placed to canvas, moved and then released leaving paint, normally in some form of a line. Within each stroke there are a series of paint dabs that get placed on the canvas that make up the stroke. For each dab of paint in each stroke the brush effects system is called on to do adjustments that are part of the configured brush effects for the brush being used. Let's have a look at the brush effects panel. From this drop-down list, the core brush type is selected. Here we have the core brush variants. Let's select a fine coverage with 50% feather. Here are listed the different brush effects. Let's select a few effects for our basic brush. The status column allows for quickly turning an effect off or on with a single click. Green means that the effect is enabled and red that it is disabled. The brush effect envelope column defines how the brush effect will change over time or if it is static. These two columns show the brush effect strength. The first column is for the tens and the second for the ones. You can reorder the selected brush effects by dragging these black squares. And this UI column field when clicked will bring up a dialog for setting user interface brush control settings. In other words, through this field you can turn any brush effect into a simple brush control that will be added to the brush control panel. This way you or anyone that you share your brush with will be able to easily use and control it without knowing anything about brush editing. Give a name for the control. Enter the minimum value for the brush effect. And also the maximum value. You can also make the control optional. Here is our new brush control. 